All right, in this UI Builder demo, we're going to add an input component and a button component and use those to add another task to our work tasks list here on our work management homepage. Uh, we're going to hit on client state parameters, data resources, client scripts, and event handlers, and components and their properties. Uh, so this should be uh, a good picture into how to make all the different parts of UI Builder uh, work together. So we're going to start with adding an input component uh, into this container here. So I'm going to click on the plus sign. I'm going to hit input. I have this input component here. Uh, I don't want it to have a label, but I do want it to have some placeholder text. And we're going to say quick add uh, task here and if I click out of that I should see that here yep uh, the rest of this looks right uh, so that looks good and then what we need to do now is when I enter something into this input box uh, I need to take its value and bind it to a client state parameter so I'm gonna click on this little client state icon down here at the bottom left you can think of client state parameters as kind of uh, like the page's scratch pad. Uh, it's just a variable on my page uh, that's going to hold a value, and then I can do something with that value. So let's hit add. Let's call it short description, and we'll leave it a string. So right now, uh, its value is null, but I'm going to come back to my component. And uh, in my component box uh, on the right here, <clears throat> under config, these are all my components' properties. So these are basically the inputs for my components. Uh, and then on the very right, these are my events. So this is what my component can do uh, that can interact with other things on the page. So you can kind of think as, of these as, as outputs. Uh, so I'm going to use this input value set. Uh, so when when I set a value in this input, uh, I want to do something with it. And what I want to do is I want to update a client state parameter. So I only have one. It's called short description. We just created it. And then I want the value to be, I could hard code a value in here, or I could use this dynamic data binding icon that shows up pretty much everywhere in UI Builder and lets you bind data to this input box. And that's what we're going to do. And so for my component, we are using this event handler and my event has a payload and that payload has a name and a value and I want the value of the payload, which is going to be the value of my input field. So I'm going to hit add. I'm going to save this because I save early and often. Uh, so now we have uh, successfully, when I type something into the input box and tab out of it or click out of it, uh, I will set the client state parameter to the value of that input box. Uh, so now we need to do something else. We need to say, all right, well, we probably need a button to click on. So let's add a button here. Let's just say button. And uh, I think we should call it something like, uh, let's say quick add work. Uh, let's say quick add task, because it's a work task. All right. Uh, but before we actually give it an action, we have to create a couple of things. So the first one is we need a data resource. Uh, so a data resource is really a way for my page to interact with the server somehow. We have a lot of data resources around um, querying data, uh, but the one we want to do now is uh, we want to update a record. So I'm going to choose the update record data resource here. I'm going to hit add. Uh, so this data resource doesn't have any uh, properties other than uh, telling it when it needs to run. Uh, and we're going to call this through a client script. So that's this third icon here. So I'm going to click on the client script. I'm going to click add. We're going to call this quick add task because that's what we've called pretty much everything. And before, I'm just going to paste in a script here and we'll kind of walk through what that does. So for the most part, what I've seen out of these uh, UI Builder client scripts is they basically manipulate some data and then do something with it. Uh, so what we're doing here 
is we're taking that short description. Remember, we once you type something into this input field and tab out of it, we're binding it uh, to the client state parameter. And this is how we access that client state parameter. And then we're also grabbing uh, the logged in user's sys ID. So I can just grab that through this api.context dot session dot user dot sys id uh, so that's you know similar to if you were going to call um, you know get user get user id that that type of thing and then we're going to construct an encoded query where the assigned to is that user and the short description is the short description that we entered there so this is going to be an encoded query and then we're going to pass that encoded query uh, to my data resource. So let's make sure that I have my data resource uh, named correctly. So it's called update record one. And in this client script, uh, we need to change that to update record one and we'll execute that. And then we're gonna pass it the table where we want to create a record or, or we want to uh, create a record. And then uh, we are going to pass it this template fields, which is our encoded query. and. I realized that we used update record instead of create record. And what we actually wanted was create record. So instead of redoing this whole demo, we're just gonna redo this. So I'm gonna add a second data resource. We don't need this first one. The second one is called create record two. So let's go back in here and call it create record two. And now, uh, now this should work here. So the last thing that we need to do, so we have our data resource and it's executed from this client script where the client script grabs our data, creates an encoded query, passes it to our data resource. <clears throat> so we need to call this client script. And we're gonna do that from this button. So I'm going to look at the events and uh, my button is a, a simple button. It only does one thing, it gets clicked and then it does something when it gets clicked. So we're gonna add a new event handler for the click and we now have under scripts this didn't happen if you back up the video we did not have this quick add task under scripts when we added an event handler to my input uh, my input component uh, we have that now so I'm just going to say quick add task and I'm going to save it all right so we've added quite a few things here uh, let's go ahead and test Let's say uh, here is a new task, exclamation point, because we're real happy about it. I'm gonna add it and then let's hit refresh. And here it shows up here. So we're only showing five at a time. That's why the list didn't get longer, but here is my new task that I created. Um, and what we can do is we could go back in here, we could add another event handler to refresh my list and clear out the value in the quick add task. Uh, that's not what we're gonna do in this demo, but I can chain together event handlers uh, based on one action, so I'd probably do that here. Um, but this was a demo showing you how to use a lot of the different parts of UI Builder and uh, make them all work together. Thanks.